Hello to all of you and I hope you are all doing well. Last week I showed a video without any explanation about the construction of a simple power plant with a solar dish. In this video I want to give a brief explanation about how it works. It should be noted that this is a basic power plant and I have not yet provided a complete example of it. And of course, this primary power plant cannot compete with solar panels, and 100% solar panels are better compared to this primary power plant. So this week I would like to give some explanations about the equipment used in this simple power plant. The first case is a 30 liter solar boiler tank. This solar dish is 2.5 square meters and you should not underestimate the power of solar dishes, for example, a 5 square meter solar dish in some areas can concentrate up to 20,000 watts of energy in its focal point. Here, there are 10 liters of water in this boiler tank, and now one hour has passed since sunrise, and the pressure of the tank is almost 4 bar. You can see the heat concentration of the dish on the boiler tank. As you can see in the picture, there is a copper pipe in the tank and 10 liters of water occupies the volume of the tank. The continuation of the metal pipe came here and reached the bottom of the dish from this side. This steam valve is located here for emergency situations so that we can close it if we have a steam leak, but it is always open. And from here it is transferred to this galvanized three-way, one side of which is connected to this one-way valve, which passes steam at a pressure of 12 bar. and the steam enters the steam turbine. Another side of this three-way is connected to this one-way brass valve through this iron pipe. This one-way valve does not pass steam, but water can enter the tank from this side. In fact, at night when the boiler tank cools down, the steam left in it turns into water and a very good vacuum is created inside the tank. This vacuum causes 10 liters of water inside this plastic tank to be strongly sucked. And this action happens at night. The water inlet valve to this plastic tank must be set in such a way that the water enters the tank as a drop, and with this, the amount of water entering the boiler tank will not exceed 10 liters. And this is done automatically every night. The steam turbine is connected to a 1000 watt synchronous generator, which must have 3600 rpm to produce real power. But because here the number of revolutions is less, I have replaced the excitability capacitor with a larger capacitor. And the output voltage will be 50 to 70 volts AC from here. This voltage enters this rectifier and charges charge control box, the output of which is connected to both ends of the batteries. These four batteries are in series and each battery is 55 amp hours. And the output wire of the batteries is connected to the input of this inverter with this pair of wires. This inverter can convert 48V battery voltage to 220V electricity. Of course, all the above equipment, except for the solar dish, should be placed in a suitable place away from sunlight and dust. We wait until the steam pressure reaches the appropriate level. During the night, it is easy to use the stored electricity in the batteries. I connect this electric drill to the inverter when the steam turbine is off and you can see that the drill turns on easily. And if the batteries are fully charged and our average consumption during the night is 300 watts per hour, we can have 9 hours of electricity. 
اینتر میبینیم که اگر چی بشه فهم Now two and a half hours have passed since the sunrise and the pressure has reached the right size and the steam turbine has been activated. And the amount of focal heat of the solar dish has been able to boil 10 liters of water with a pressure of 14 bar. Now I measure the output voltage of the generator and set the voltmeter to AC mode. The voltage is approximately 60 volts and the amount of this voltage depends on the steam pressure inside the boiler tank. Of course, this generator is not suitable for this turbine and I should use a generator that has better efficiency. The voltage is 60.5 volts. Now I put the connections in place. And now I measure the voltage of both ends of the batteries. The voltage is 49.5 volts and the batteries are charging and the voltage increases. The point I have to say is that the smaller the steam nozzle hole in the steam turbine is, the less the water consumption of the boiler tank is, and of course the power of the turbine will be less. Of course, in this system that you see, water consumption is 0.8 grams per second, so 10 liters of water can keep the generator active for three and a half hours. The actual speed of the turbine in the video is not due to the frame rate of the actual footage. If the steam pressure drops below 8 bar, the steam output is stopped by this one-way valve until the pressure reaches 12 bar again and the steam turbine is activated. The steam connections are hot and I will measure the temperature now. The temperature on the piece of stone is 36.5 degrees Celsius and the temperature on the one-way valve is 128 degrees Celsius. The temperature on the surface of the steam turbine is 46 degrees Celsius. A laser thermometer cannot show the actual temperature on aluminum joints. The temperature of the steam boiler tank is 180 degrees Celsius and sometimes reaches 200 degrees. Now I want to connect an angle grinder to the inverter and turn it on. You can see that the power consumption of this electric angle grinder is 1100 watts. Well, you saw that the system is very simple and there is no need for manual intervention, and if everything is correct, the system will be completely automatic. Of course, we are still at the beginning of the work and the main power plant will be much more interesting than this, and if the power plant is completed, it may be able to compete with solar panels. You may be wondering what changes will be made in the completed design, 
and I tell you to wait for a surprise. I currently prefer solar panels with this system you see. Anyway, this will be the initial start to start a new home power plant. Bye until next video.